You're probably here because you've heard about Colin Trevorrow's opening for Jurassic World Dominion. If you haven't, and don't want spoilers, try another video. Otherwise, let's analyze this together. We may have another Jurassic Park 3 situation on our hands, based on what Trevorrow has said concerning the newest Jurassic World movie's opening scene. The preview, released with Fast 9, contains a Gigantosaurus fighting and killing a T-Rex in ancient North America. How it got up there is anyone's guess, but what has many fans of the franchise bothered is Colin Trevorrow's statement that Gigantosaurus was the largest carnivore known to humankind. While it was certainly one of the largest megatheropods, its reputation may have been a tad exaggerated. Let's clear up the misinformation early on so we don't have to deal with another Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. The most obvious inaccuracy is that Gigantosaurus and T-Rex lived on different continents and were chronologically separated by millions of years, with the former living in the Cenomanian stage and T-Rex 30 million years later. If you're watching this video, however, you probably knew that, so let's address the controversial size upgrade. We only have two Giga specimens at the time of this video, unless you count the incomplete tooth MUCPV52. The holotype, or the first to be described, is actually quite well preserved and gives us a good idea of what the animal looked like holistically. As you can see in Scott Hartman's rigorous skeletal of MUCPV CH1, a mouthful, I know, we have most of the skeleton preserved. That completeness and conceptual accessibility has led to multiple reconstructionist experts weighing in on its, well, weight. Hartman himself calculated it at 6,800 kilograms in 2013. Frenoy, using the same GDI technique, arrived at 6,840 kilograms in 2016. Molina Perez and Larramendi suggested a weight closer to 7,600 kilograms also in 2016, but they didn't provide any type of calculation for the estimate. It seems that based off of actual calculations, 6,800-ish kilograms is the best mass estimate for the holotype. That's certainly massive at more than 10 times the mass of a male polar bear, but does this back up Trevorrow's claim of Gigantosaurus being the largest carnivore known to humankind? Well, with a recent density study by La Remente et al. 2020, this number gets bumped up to around 7,200 kilograms, give or take a couple hundred. That's still smaller than the biggest Spinosaurus or Mapusaurus, and even lighter than an average T-Rex. But what about the famous fragmentary specimen, MUCPV-95? This dentary was slightly larger than the corresponding fragment in the holotype. Would the difference be enough to catapult Gigantosaurus all the way to number one? Depending on who you ask, the dentary is anywhere from 2% to 8% larger than the holotypes. Hartman, Molina Perez and Laramendi all use the most commonly cited 6.5% figure. Disclaimer, since this specimen is so incredibly fragmentary and the size difference is so small, it's possible that this individual just had slightly different proportions and was about the same size. But to avoid accusations of being too conservative, let's assume the scaling is significant here. Hartman tosses us an 8200 kilogram figure, which he referred to as the upper bounds due to the scaling issue just mentioned. Molina Perez and Larmendi favor 8.5 metric tons, but again don't provide the reasoning behind the estimate. Random Dinos did a GDI arriving at 8.3 tons. So, being very generous with the proportions here, we have an animal that hits around 8 to 8.5 tons. If those numbers are accurate, that makes it the second largest theropod. But when we see T-Rex specimens like Sue, Trix, and Scotty, all of which exceeded 9 tons, with Scotty potentially pushing 10, it's clear that Jurassic World Dominion's Gigantosaurus is just another case of movie magic. Mm -hmm.